control myself But I can't let it go And I want to control myself But it's all that I know Hey my beauties! Again, I have another light tutorial. A month ago, I showed you how to make the spring monogram marquee. And I was inspired to do this without that price tag. It's insane. And I'm so obsessed with gold, so I decided to make this classic marquee style of lights. A perfect accent piece and a great alternative as a lamp. Now, to make this, I'm using my favorite tool, the nifty little hot glue gun with lots of glue sticks. I ordered this ampersand letter from Amazon, globe light strings, an extension cord to reach my electric outlets, spray paint, all the details are listed down below, exacto knife, a pencil, painter's tape or masking tape, and a ruler. With a straight edge ruler, I needed to know where my lights will be on my ampersand. Try to space out evenly in the middle the best you can with your letter or symbol by the number of light bulbs. I purchased a 25 globe string of lights, so I spaced it out about 2-3 to three inches apart since the symbol isn't symmetrical like the letter A. Before I added the last few dots, I double checked my work to make sure I will have a total of 25 dots all around the middle of my paper mache. I unscrewed all the light bulbs of that light string cord to trace the light socket on top where I marked my dots all around. The light socket will be glued inside this paper mache, so I had to cut out the back and toss away all that cardboard stuffing. Once you did that, next you're going to flip it over and cut out the circles with an X-Acto knife. This took me a while to do because I needed to avoid cutting the hole too big or too small. Now go spray paint. I have shown you in many of my past tutorials. Once this dry, you can create stripes with painter's tape or masking tape straight across and wrap it around the back into the paper mache. I recommend pressing the tape firmly onto the paper mache to prevent the second layer of paint to bleeding into the first layer of paint. I chose gold to spray paint on top when it's completely dry. Remove the tape slowly to reveal your work to achieve this. Perfect stripes. It's so pretty, I just love it so much. And when you're done, the last step is to use hot glue to glue around the top of the light socket and place it onto the hole. I held it in for a half a minute to make sure the hot glue hardens and repeat this step. I tuck the electrical cord into the paper mache with glue to keep it from sticking out in every direction. This string of lights have a short cord, so I attached this extension cord that I spray painted pink to blend into my pink wall to be less noticeable when I hung it on the wall. Now screw the light bulbs into the light socket and plug it in into an outlet to see if the lights turn up. Can't you tell I have a thing for lighting? Now it's time to see how it looks in your home. I hung mine in the back wall of my office. You could display this on a desk to lean against a wall as an option. Thank you for lighting up my life. Subscribe if you are new to my channel and add me to see what I'm up to lately. Have you seen these? And be inspired. Sorry, I hate